Don't get box braids until you watch this video. And here is a tip that nobody will tell you because nobody told me and I had no idea. This is going to prevent your hair from breaking. Hey loves, it's Andrew B and welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to give you everything, every single thing that you need to know about box braids. So if you're thinking about getting box braids, you might want to watch this video before you do them because I'm going to tell you all the pros, the cons, things you should do, things you shouldn't be doing. And if you guys are interested in knowing all that, make sure you stay tuned right till the end of this video because every single tip is so important. Also, if you're not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. It is right down there as well as the bell icon. So make sure you click that. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so like I said, I am going to be sharing secrets with you, things that nobody tells you. The first thing is people usually ask, what's the difference between box braids and regular braids? And the difference is mainly just the size. It used to be specific, ah, uh, this fly or something that keeps making noise. Before it used to be something specific because of the shape of the hair that you would get like on the scalp, it would be in boxes. But now I'm sure you've noticed box braids, you could do like triangle shapes or star whatever kind of thing i am not interested in shapes because i am too anal about that kind of stuff if i find one box that is out of shape it's just gonna destroy everything so i just do like whatever but it's mainly the size so usually around this size slightly smaller and about up to like the jumbo box braids those are all called box braids and then the other ones are just like regular braids or micro braids or cornrows and that kind of stuff so these what i have in my head are box braids this is like a medium medium size next question people ask a lot is how do you seal the ends of the braids as you guys can see they are not tied there's no like elastic or anything like that it just doesn't unravel like this and the secret to that is to dip your braids in hot water but you have to use Kanekalon fiber hair. The most popular one is Expression and I'll leave some alternatives in the description box below that I, whatever I can find on Amazon. But Kanekalon hair is the best. I usually use Expression or Mix. The darker color in my hair is Expression and the lighter one, I can't even remember the name. I've never seen it before, but it, was, it looked really nice and it was Kanekalon fiber. So as soon as you dip it in the hot water, the texture completely changes and it becomes nice and, nice and smooth like this and it doesn't unravel. A long time ago, people just used to burn the ends and some people still do that now, but I hate the way it looks with the hard burnt ends. I don't like that. But if you want to do that, you can do it as well. The other way that people can seal their braids, like the burning method, is to put like a knife. This is like the getaway. I'm just telling you. You put a knife, like a knife that you don't care about, on the stove and make sure it gets really hot. And if you are a minor, like make sure you have parental supervision, but you need to get a really hot knife and then hold it obviously on the plastic handle and then just cut the braids, of course not where your hair is. And as the braids are getting cut, the ends are going to be sealed and they won't unravel at the end. Don't recommend that, don't like that style, can't relate, but it is an option. And here is a tip that nobody will tell you because nobody told me and I had no idea. This is going to prevent your hair from breaking. When you dip your braids, make sure you dip them only up to the point where your hair is. So if you have long hair up to here, you're gonna have to just dip this part and your braids, you just have to wait for a couple of days for them to stiffen up. But for me, my hair ends, well, you can see it, it's kind of frizzed up, but around here. So I would dip the braid, like I would leave like a little extra inch as well. So this is the amount of braid that I would dip because you need to dip the braids in like water that is just boiled. So too hot to touch, boiling water basically. And if you put that, it's like you're boiling your own hair and then it's going to fry, it's going to be damaged. And as you're unraveling your hair, you think it's regular shedding, but girl, your ends will be crazy. So please keep this tip in mind. Do not dip your actual hair in the hot water. Just dip it up to where the extension or the Kanekalon hair is and this will give you the best results. Now you might ask me the next question. Well, if I dip all my braids in all that hot water, isn't it going to take forever to dry? Some people's braids take up to three days to dry. My braids literally take 40 minutes or less. And mainly, like I said, I don't dip it up to my scalp. And when I wash my hair, I still use the same technique. You want to get a towel, a thick towel, wring your hair like it's like you're wringing clothes 
take out all the excess water and if you're using Kanekalon fiber hair like this and it's not like an enormous amount of hair then 30 to 40 minutes your hair should be completely dry it always works for me also if the water is very hot it evaporates quicker so if you put it like in warm water or something first of all it won't really make much of a change in your hair and also when you dip the braids like why do you do box braids aside from it just being a hairstyle well it is a protective hairstyle now i must say i do have a slightly unpopular opinion on box braids i believe box braids are just a hairstyle anybody can wear them whether you're black white like indian whatever i believe everyone can wear your braids i don't think it's cultural appropriation until you start being like oh look at these cool braids like you know i just know kim kardashian invented them like uh, -uh honey no Give them their respect, that's due, okay? You know where they come from and you just wanna wear it as a hairstyle. I'm all good with that. If you have a different opinion than me, please leave it in the description box below. I'd love to hear what you guys' opinion on other races wearing braids are. Um, I have absolutely no problem as long as they don't make it like they invented the hairstyle and give us credit that we did it, if anyone asks, like, you know. I'm, I'm good with that. Anyway, why we do them? I like to do them because I love the hairstyle, first of all. Second of all, it is a great protective style. It keeps all my hair nice and healthy. It doesn't rip off my edges because I never braid them too tight. If you want to know any other tips about box braids and stuff, I'm going to link a playlist at the end and a whole bunch of videos in the description box below. Also, if you like my hairstyle and you want to know how I did like about 12 or 10 different hairstyles at the end of this video i'm gonna link one of my hairstyle videos and you check out how i did all these different hairstyles including this one anyway so that's why i do them i think it's a great protective style i think it makes my hair grow because i can stay for like a month or five weeks six weeks when i'm lucky without having to touch my hair i can still moisturize it i have great access to my scalp and i don't have to deal with my thick hair for like a month yeah all those different reasons the next thing you need to know before you get box braids is how long does it take now this one is slightly up to you and slightly up to the stylist so the part that's up to you is how big do you want your braids to be the bigger the braids the shorter time it's going to take so if you're getting micro braids which of course are not box braids but still you might be here if you want to do micro braids so those will take forever i don't think i've ever done that. maybe when i was a kid i did them once I don't think I'm ever going to do micro, micro braids because first of all, they are extremely damaging to your hair. Second of all, they take hours and I have a lot of hair and I'm not down for that. So if you're getting braids like mine, these took me, my hairstylist kind of slipped on me, but my cousin ended up finishing them off and they took me four to five hours and you guys can see I have a lot of hair so if you have less hair than me so like you know it all balances if you have less hair than me it might even take you two hours depending on how fast the hair braider is if you're doing ones where you get like tiny pieces of hair but a big amount of braid if they do that kind of thing which I do not recommend it could even take you eight hours but I will say it's within the ball the ballpark of three to eight hours depending on all the variables that i just threw in there another secret that you need to know before you get braids box braids twists faux locks is what to do to your hair before you get them because i'm assuming you haven't got them yet if you're watching this video right you really need to treat your hair so well before you get braids because your hair is going to be tucked away for like a month some people even keep it tucked away for two months so you have to make sure that your hair is very well prepared for the braids and i don't want to make this video too long so i'm just going to link a video in the eye i have a full video on how to prep your hair for box braids or any other kind of braids and full locks and whatever you guys can check that out and all the information that you need is in that video this is one of the biggest factors that might influence if you want to get box braids or not how much does it cost well first of all it depends on what country you're living in i'm living in zambia right now which is in africa landlocked country in the middle of South Africa, Botswana, Namibia, Zimbabwe, and something, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I get my hair braided in Zambia. It costs me about 100 to 150 kwacha, which is basically around 15 to 20 dollars. So braiding hair here is pretty cheap. You can find people to braid your hair everywhere. It's, it's awesome. Now, I know that a lot of you watching are in the States. 
and I did do my research so I know that braiding hair costs between 80 and 300 dollars so it depends on if you're going to a hair salon if you're going to an individual person and all that but yes it's anywhere within the ballpark of 80 and 300 dollars so it's pretty expensive for you guys but if you know someone or you don't mind doing it yourself god bless you if you can because i have too much hair to braid it myself but if you want to do that then you can go ahead and do that but that is the price of braids where most of you are then you might want to know how much the braiding hair is that is actually quite similar almost everywhere it's usually about two between two or maybe even between one and four dollars for one pack of hair your next question might be well how many packs do i need that might be a question you might want to ask your stylist or if you know your own hair then you can answer it for yourself because the amount of braiding hair you need depends on the size of braids and the amount of hair that you have so for me i use four packs and i cut every pack in half and then stretch it so i'm short so that's how i get them to be this long even though i cut them in half and then they do that you know method thingy i don't know how to do that but yes so this is half a pack of expression the really long one so you need to see how long the pack is and that's the length of the hair don't get a short pack and expect really long hair there's usually inches i think this usually says 82 inches on the packet or something so i cut that in half so it's basically like eight packs of hair so if you're getting hair that only has a little bit in it then you might need like six but it all depends again on how much hair you have what the size would be so some people buy in bulk i think it's cheaper to buy like a pack of 10 even from amazon because then even if you have leftover you can always use it next time or like mix in like as you can see i always like to mix in a couple different colors in my braids i just don't like them to be one uniform color so you could just buy a pack of 10 like a wholesale price it'll be much cheaper and you can use anywhere between four to six or eight packs i always never use more than four packs and the reason is i don't want my hair to be too heavy so it's like if you think four packs won't be enough you're just gonna have to make a way to make them fit because i'm not willing to carry any more weight than that which leads me to my next question that lots of people have are your box braids heavy of course you will feel the weight because they are longer than your natural hair and it's not real hair it's kanekalon fiber which is basically plastic so you will feel the weight but my braids are never heavy i never feel like i can't sleep in them or they're just i can't work out i can do everything i do in my regular life so that's something to consider if you're deciding on getting jumbo box braids especially really long ones the weight might put a strain on your neck girl because one time someone used seven packs of expression in my hair and i think i took it out in two weeks because i was just like no i felt like i was like this the whole time and it just puts so much of a strain on your hair and it's just not healthy so please find a way to use as little hair as possible to get the best result for yourself also the longer the hair of course the heavier it's going to be what is the best type of braid to get is it the ones with the knots or knotless braids like the ones I have it depends on your preference some people love the look of the braids with the knots I hate it <laughs> I hate the look of the knots on the braids also it's kind of like a faux lock because it wraps your hair around in every direction ensuring that it's all wrapped in which is why lots of people like them because they tend to frizz less but they also damage your hair more so I don't recommend them I always get knotless braids if you guys can see, I'll come close to the camera and you guys can see what it looks like. It's just done like it's braided with my own hair and I always get knotless braids because I just think they're best, less damaging. I like the look of them better, but knotted braids are not the worst thing in the world. So if that's what you want and you've done it before and you know how your hair reacts to it, then you could probably do that. Which one is better, getting triangles or getting squares? on the scalp the parting it honestly doesn't matter it has no effect on how long the braids will stay or anything it's just up to you do you like squares or do you like triangles on your scalp i honestly don't care it's all up to you this is a question i'm gonna share some secrets more secrets on this one because everyone is always scared like i want to get braids but i don't want to damage my edges well i've got some tips for you first of all 
assess your edges before you put braids in because no matter how much of a protective style it is if your edges are already severely damaged you can just like leave now because box braids are not for you right now wait for your braid wait for your edges to be healthy grow in you don't want to put any stress on them let them grow out let them do their thing i actually have a video on how to grow your edges back really fast so i'm going to link it in the eye but let's say your edges are perfectly good all your hair is fine you're scared that the box braids are going to damage your edges box braids will not damage your edges unless you get them braided extremely tight probably knotted and then you proceed to do hairstyles like this like every single day yep you're gonna damage your edges but if you do it properly like me i always do knotless braids i don't braid them in too tight i don't do buns every day and every time i put my hair in a bun like this i will go around my hairline and do this and push down any braids that i feel are tight and i just pull them out like this just a little bit it will not loosen it you can you guys can see the bun still looks very nice and tight and you just push the strain off all your edges you continue to scalp your 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 hair put oils on your scalp moisturize your hair and all that your edges will actually thank you your hair is gonna be flourishing looking good there'll be no breakage girl or oh boy so no it will not damage your edges unless you decide to damage them do box braids itch or will your scalp itch or will they itch on your skin if you don't know what you're doing probably if you do not dip your hair in apple cider vinegar or do an apple cider vinegar rinse before not everyone is allergic to whatever coating they put on this hair I personally am I used to itch so much and there would be like red patches on my scalp and I thought is it just because my scalp is dry because I've done braids and all this but no I was allergic to the coating that they put on the hair so if you do not rinse that off yes your hair is going to itch like crazy also if you do not moisturize your hair you don't put any oils you don't put any water nothing your hair is going to be dry dandruff is going to come and girl your hair will be itching for days so if you want to know how to stop your hair from itching aside from what i've said i also have a video on that it's already posted i believe so just check in the i am in the description box below i have a full detailed video on how to make your box braids not itch but some of the tips i just gave you will definitely help you so no they will not itch if you know what you're doing also if you don't get that coating off it can even itch your skin like if the braids are rubbing against your skin or something it's just going to make you itch everywhere and you're just like ah i want to take these things out so just make sure Watch that video and you know all the ways to not make your braids itch. Okay, this is another popular question, which I wish someone told me before I used to get my braids done, like when I was little. People always want to know, can you wash your hair in box braids? And the answer is absolutely yes. I was never told that. They would just be like, okay, so you keep them in for a month and then, you know, and you put in your braid spray and whatever. So it would never smell bad or anything. But it also contributed to the itching and the dandruff and the hair breaking when you undo your braids. You can wash your hair and you should wash your hair. If you're leaving your braids in for like two weeks, then it's fine, honestly. You don't have to wash your hair. You can just wash it when you take your braids out. But if you're leaving it in for like four to eight weeks, then maybe every second week you can wash it. Now there's two different ways you can do this. The first way is when you get like a hot tea towel or something like that and you just wipe down your scalp with shampoo in it and then the second way is to literally just wash your hair the same way you do anything else except you need to dilute your shampoo and conditioner so that it doesn't go into your braids and cause buildup and all that nasty stuff so yes you can absolutely wash your braids and like i told you earlier it won't take forever to dry if you do exactly what i told you can you moisturize your hair in box braids absolutely people always think oh no my hair is going to frizz up i can't moisturize my hair so i'm just going to put oil on it and then it's gonna work fine i mean your hair probably won't break it won't be like damaged but you always want to keep your hair moisturized because it just really prevents breakage and keeps your hair in a healthy state to grow so i have a video on that as well i know it seems like i'm plugging lots of videos but i don't want to spend too much time explaining things i've already explained so i'm also going to link that in the description box below I will list everything there and you guys will see the video on how you can moisturize your hair while it is in braids without creating frizz.
Will my hair shed? Will it fall out? Because you see all these videos where people are like, oh my God, I took out my box braids. There's a huge ball of hair. So much of my hair came out before the braids. Look, you are going to have a lot of hair coming out of your head if you keep it in for four to eight weeks. And the reason is not because your hair is breaking or because your hair is damaged, unless you actually broke and damaged your hair because you didn't do anything I told you. But in general, yes, you will have a lot of shed hairs and a lot of hair is going to come out of your head. And it's not because of your box braids. It is because you won't have been able to comb your hair or get out any shed hairs for the period of about a month. Everybody sheds between like 100 and 400 hairs every single day. So double that by double that. Multiply that by all the days in a month. Or however long you keep that of course there's going to be a lot of hair that comes out because all the shed hair that has come out just stays in your braids so when you take them out all the shed hairs are going to come out at once and the longer your hair is the more it's going to seem because when you roll it up into a ball the long hairs just look like it's so much more so yes it will not make your hair shed you're just gonna see more of the shed hair so do not panic and I kind of addressed it already but the question is if I'm white, can I get box braids? Um, I don't think you had to come to this video to ask me per for permission. Maybe if you have a circle of friends and they're all black and they would get really offended if you did your box braids, maybe you should ask them if they're comfortable with it. As for me and my experience living in Africa most of my life, do you if you're white if you're whatever you want to get box braids anybody can get box braids but also note the amount of hair you have because if you have really really fine hair and really really little hair it might not look so great when you do the braids because they'll be so spaced they look nice when there's kind of a lot of them but if you want to get braids you've got the hair for it you're good with it you just want to experience the style go ahead and do it just don't be like you know my european braids you know they look so Kim Kardashian made this hairstyle so popular or whoever like no make sure you credit the originals just do not appropriate okay and then we're good I have absolutely no no problem with that nobody gets mad when Asians do buns and when black people do buns and they put chopsticks in their hair and whatever and and I've never seen an Asian be mad like all oh, cultural appropriation or whatever because everybody knows but we would have a problem with it if someone like me or any just other black person went and put chopsticks in their hair posed in the cover of a magazine and then we're like like Rihanna did it lately and then we say oh my gosh look at this beautiful new style that Rihanna just created then it's a problem okay so just just enjoy the style. If you didn't subscribe in the beginning, make sure you go ahead and do that now. Or you can just click on my face there and look at the other two videos that are going to be here. Click those, I'm sure you're going to enjoy them. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think about other cultures wearing braids because I love this conversation. It's good for everybody to have different opinions. I don't care if your opinion is correct or wrong. That is the point of this conversation. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.